Here we watch the first step in the varnish application. Being applied is a clear organic ground, which shows the coloration of the wood naturally. The neck that we are varnishing in this video is one that's being used as a replacement for a base that was damaged in an accident. Although the steps are much the same on new instruments as well. As you can see, the freshly carved maple of the scroll and neck is a very uniform white color. Once the ground is applied, the figure begins to show through. The wood will remain the same golden color even after the ground has dried. As a base layer it will still be seen through the final coats of varnish. While it's obvious that the ground adds a certain aesthetic quality to the instrument, it's long been regarded as one of the most vital steps in the building process. Many masters believe that it is this step in the process that determines whether the final product will be a good instrument or a great instrument. Here we can see the new neck has been installed. We begin a sanding process in preparation for the next step, a clear sealer. As this clear sealer is applied, we will begin to see the natural beauty of the ground and the maple show through. It's the combination of the ground and this clear sealer that will begin to give us the golden brown color we are looking for.
while it is the entire neck that receives the ground and the sealer. It will be only the peg box and heel that receive the first coats of varnish. This is to create a smooth, unvarnished playing surface up and down the neck. Once we have completed the scuff sanding of the dried varnish surface, leveling any imperfections, we can begin a process called French polishing. French polishing is one of the oldest known methods of applying varnish. A specially seasoned rag made of silk and linen fibers is used. As the rag is reused and the resins become reconstituted, it actually becomes more and more effective at doing its job. During each application, a new thin layer of varnish is applied over the old one. Once we have applied several coats of fringe polish, we can now begin to apply the colored or pigmented varnish, which will become our final coat. Because this job was for a repair, we must take special care to match the existing varnish of the instrument. The final color is achieved by mixing various organic pigments with the final coats of varnish. When mixed properly, these pigments will not only help match the color, but will actually add a depth and richness to the varnish itself.